we're the Airflow Avengers and this is our smart vent thermostat. There's a variety of power requirements for this system. So the central hub system, it is powered through a uh, wall outlet that gives us 24 volts AC, which we put through a diode rectifier and then smooth that out and then use a butt converter to put it down to five volts for our screen and microcontroller. Now, if we move to our motor power subsystem, we use a 11.1 volt battery that is um, put down through a 3.3 buck converter into our microcontroller, and it's at a 10 volt buck converter for our motor. So that meets the power requirements to that system. And finally, for our sensor subsystem, we are using two AA batteries for about three volts and then using a boost regulator to give our microcontroller a good 3.3 volts. Okay, so now I'm gonna be demonstrating our PIR motion sensor. So this is a passive infrared sensor that is split into two halves um, and any change in between the two halves of radiation, um, low levels from humans um, is gonna be able to track. Uh, so this LED is normally green when it detects movement um, as I'm doing right now. And whenever I stop moving, it shows up as red. And then as I start moving again into shot, it starts turning back onto green. So now this pulses and output high for about three seconds and it resets every time it captures motion again. This is our user interface and it has two modes that can be used. There's a occupied room temperature mode and an unoccupied room temperature mode. And the user can come in and select which one they'd like. The unoccupied temperature is default to 68 and the occupied is default to 72. So they can come in and adjust whatever room temperature they'd like. Turn that way up and come turn this one way down. And then once they come back, it'll be saved for them. So here's a quick demo of our SPI data transmission. So here you can see I'm transferring a value of 72 degrees and through the microcontroller and here is its output. So the system uses wireless communication to move data. So data starts at the sensor subsystem where it gets packaged and moved to the central hub unit. Additionally, the vents will uh, package their data about their current state bring it to the central hub, and the central hub takes all the data, crunches the numbers, and gives decisions back to the vent about uh, how to move. Uh, the network runs on a uh, Zigbee network, so that's a local area network. Uh, that works in the range of Wi-Fi uh, at 2.4 uh, gigahertz, uh, and that can be extended uh, with as good of an RF system as you can give it. Our system right now can go about uh, line of sight to say 30 feet. So we're gonna demo the system opening and closing event. So right now we're gonna assume that the, uh, AC, uh, the AC is running. So the room is currently 72 degrees. And when the AC blows for a while, we'll put some ice on the temperature sensor. The AC goes down to 65. And as we pan up, the temperature starts to slowly rise. And once we hit the threshold, the vent opens up.